Hi there, my name is Erin Soderberg Downing and I am the author of the Great Peach Experiment series. Uh, the first book of which is called When Life Gives You Lemons, Make Peach Pie. This is about a family trying to come together again after the death of their mom by buying a used food truck and traveling around the Midwest selling pies together. The family continues their Great Peach Experiment spree with the second book in the series called The Peach Pit, about taking over an old broken down mansion and turning it into a working bed and breakfast. And I am super excited because the third book in the series comes out on April 4th. It is called Frozen Peaches. And this one takes the Peach family far north to Sweden, where they will be spending a week in the Ice Hotel a very real place that I actually visited about 20 years ago, and I've been saving this amazing setting for the perfect story. And I finally found the perfect story to use it in with the perfect family, and that is the Peach family from Duluth, Minnesota. So I'm going to read you some snippets from the first chapter for First Chapter Friday. Um, but this is not the whole first chapter. You will need to read on to uh, enjoy some dog sledding adventures, some ice carving adventures, and a truly magical place, the Ice Hotel in Sweden. Freddie Peach had been keeping a huge secret from his family, and it was finally time to spill the beans. Everyone, I have an announcement, just turned 11-year-old Freddie blurted out at dinner one evening, a few weeks before spring break. Then he sat quietly and waited for their full attention. The trouble was, Freddy made many announcements, most of which were interesting random facts he'd recently learned, and the rest of his family sometimes ignored him. He cleared his throat and added an important announcement. Twelve-year-old Lucy grabbed a roll from the plate in the center of the table and began to butter it. Freddy, you already told us that bees can only produce about a teaspoon of honey in their entire lifetimes. She turned to their younger brother, Herb, and asked, Can you please pass the milk? Herb, who was eight but almost nine, set down his fork and carefully slid a carton of milk across the giant wooden table that filled the center of their family's large and formal dining room. And we also know that a queen bee can lay up to 2,000 eggs in a day. Herb popped a piece of curly pasta in his mouth and chewed thoughtfully. That's more than one egg per minute. This is not a bee announcement, Freddy clarified. Do you want the good news or the very good news first? Herb squeezed his eyes closed, then blurted out, Start with the regular good news. Well, thanks to good old Freddy Peach, everyone's favorite brother and son, Freddy said with a flourish, we have won a whole year's supply of yogurt. Dad blinked. What now? A whole year's worth of yogurt, Freddy said with a mile-wide grin. For us, for free! Before anyone had a chance to ask any more questions, Freddy explained, Over the past couple of months, I've been entering Dad in dozens of sweepstakes and contests. Me? Dad said. Well, you have to be 18 to win most sweepstakes, Freddy explained. So I've been using your name and birth date and a fake email address I set up with Theo's help so you wouldn't get a bunch of junk emails in your regular account. Anyway, Freddie went on, I felt like luck has finally been on our side lately, so I decided to enter us in some sweepstakes to test my theory. I'm going to skip forward a little bit, and he says, I entered us in every single sweepstakes and contest I could find online and in magazines, the ones that looked legit anyway. And we won! Freddie grinned. Yogurt. Lucy repeated blandly. Yogurt, Freddy agreed, nodding. A whole year's worth of yogurt. Dad slapped the table. Well, that is good news. Then he frowned and said firmly, It's not okay that you impersonated me to enter a bunch of sweepstakes, and I'll need to talk to Theo about that whole fake email thing, but it's pretty neat that you, uh, I actually won something. I also entered you in a contest to win a lifetime supply of coffee and free breakfast at the new Scenic Cafe. I signed up for a cheese contest and entered to win a chance to get a bread baking lessons from a French chef. Freddy was having a hard time remembering all of the sweepstakes he'd entered, but rattled off a few that popped into mind. Mmm, a free cookie of the month subscription, 
Um, a trip to visit the set of a soap opera, a walk-on role in a Nickelodeon show, family season passes for a minor league baseball team in Kansas. I always thought sweepstakes like that were fake, Herb interrupted. I assumed no one ever won. Me too, Freddie said. But we won! A whole year's worth of yogurt! Do you think they deliver it all at once, or do you think it comes in the mail every few weeks? Do you think we get to pick the flavors we want, or will they just mail us a random selection and we'll be stuck with, like, 14 coffee and cream flavor yogurts that no one even wants to eat? I wonder if... Lucy cut him off. Wait, you said this was the good news. What's the very good news? This is when Freddy breaks the news. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle your seatbelts and zip up your coats. The Peach family will soon be on our way to one of the most famous tourist destinations in the world. Because we have won, he said, dangling his secret news before them like a wrapped gift. Finally, Freddy hollered out, we've won a trip to the world famous Ice Hotel in Sweden. The dogs all began barking like crazy, sharing in his excitement. To an ice hotel, Dad echoed. Did, did I hear that correctly? You heard right, Freddy said, pounding his fists on the table. Get ready, Peaches, because we are going to Sweden. So the first book takes them on a food truck adventure. The second book takes them on a crazy construction adventure. And this third book takes the Peaches all the way to frozen Sweden. So this book comes out very soon from Pixel and Ink, and I am super excited for people to read the next Great Peach Experiment. Okay, bye.